Combing through all this research is taking me hours. Why can't there just be a futuristic solution? Oh, the future is now. Let's talk about three high impact AI tools you can use right away. The first tool I wanna to talk about is Elicit.com, which is your AI supercharged research assistant. You can essentially type in any research question you want and it gives you this beautiful research summary based on journals that are pulled from Semantic Scholar, which has this database of about 125 million academic articles. It's a lot of articles. And you can customize the filter based on data quality or journal impact factor, and it pulls together a summary based on four articles. So for example, let's say I'm searching for, oh, I don't know what's trending in the news right now. Can avian flu be found in raw eggs? Look at that. Look at that beautiful research summary. Now, as a clinician and medical journalist, I have to do this process a lot, comb through a lot of articles, and coming up with this summary normally would take me an hour or more. And look, it happened in just a second. I've got the links right here. I can scroll down and look at the specific article titles. What's really elegant and cool is I can add these columns for more data extraction from the articles. I can add columns such as methodology, outcomes, measured intervention, limitations, and so forth. And this is so incredibly important if you need to thoroughly review research articles, which I have to do every single day. If you step it up and get the paid version, you get eight articles. And what's really cool is you can download all of this data in a CSV file. This saves so much time if you're working on a big project such as a systematic review or a large presentation when you need to coalesce a lot of data. Elicit.com is also not ChatGPT or another LLM that wants to have an ongoing conversation with you and be your AI friend. It is just giving you the data that you need when you need it over any research topic you want. Now let's talk about my new favorite digital clinical tool and that is Open Evidence, which you can find at openevidence.com. This amazing website will answer your clinical questions, give you a succinct, quick answer with integrated links to academic journals, medical literature, exactly what you want to do to make sure it's evidence-based. It's pretty awesome and it's free to use if you're a healthcare professional. You should have put in your NPI, your National Provider Identification Number, which hopefully you all have memorized. And medical students, use your photo ID and you're in. You can even scroll down and click on any of these links and if you have the LibKey plugin installed, which I will get to later, you can easily download the full article so you can deep dive on any of your clinical questions. So let's put this to the test. Let's ask it a harder question. How about what antibiotics could I use for a multi-drug resistant UTI? Take this on, open evidence. And look, nine antibiotic choices with a sentence explaining why. And I can scroll down and I can see all the articles. And here's what's really rad. If you keep going down, it's like extra credit. There's follow-up clinical questions, such as medication side effects and which patient groups are at most risk of having a multi-drug resistant UTI. It's like open evidence is thinking one step ahead of me. If I wasn't already beaming with enthusiasm about the possibilities here, you can have it do even more tasks, such as writing prior authorization letters, home care instructions, calculating risk scores. You can have it make tables. You can do all this in another language. This is going to be clutch for improving physician workflow, which we really need to do. This next tool. Oh my gosh, where have you been all my life? Speechify.com. Incredible. This has been a game changer for me. I cannot tell you how many times I've had to read long PDFs, research articles, emails from my team I'm working on a digital health project with or CDC briefings, and I'm glued to my phone, a tablet, or a computer. Now I can do all of it on the go thanks to this AI-powered app that converts text into words, and it's Stanford licensed, which means if you are a Stanford employee or faculty, you can get a free account on Speechify. Let's head over to a computer, and I will show you this magic in action. Okay, so I'm on Speechify. I logged in with my Stanford email address and you can choose between a bunch of different AI powered voices and languages. It's really easy now to upload content or a web link and get that read to you. All right, so here we go. I have an article from the CDC about the recent measles outbreaks, which shouldn't be happening by the way, because we have vaccines, but I digress. And I have Mr. Beast, the YouTube celebrity, well, an AI version of him reading to me.
There have been two outbreaks defined as three or more related cases. Reported in 2025, and six- It's like engaging, and I can do this on the go when I'm walking outside at the gym, doing chores around the house, whatever. And if you wanna be ultra productive, you can speed it up. We're at one X right now. Those are rookie numbers. Let's bump that up. Let's go to 1.5 maybe? Our outbreak associated. For comparison, 16 outbreaks were reported during 2024. And, and there are so many voices to choose from and different languages. Let's play with a few. My name is Abu Bakar. Hello, See, this is awesome, not only for accessibility, but let's say you're practicing another language and you need to get work or learn something at the same time. Two birds with one AI powered stone. Oh, and one quick disclaimer, when you're using these AI tools, don't just take the answers at face value. You have to check the evidence every single time. It doesn't matter what tool you're using, if it's illicit, open evidence, or anything else you may find, you always have to check the evidence, such as the articles that the tool is citing. Check these tools out today and enjoy your newfound productivity.